Hi there and welcome into this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a visibility ability that's going to be interacting with your behavior, your characters in your world as well. So just as you can see here, I can make myself invisible and I can make myself visible again. And this is going to affect the behavior in your world. In order to create our invisibility ability, I'm going to be using the third person template. So let's start it. First, let's go to our content drawer, then go to third person, blueprints, and then open PP third person character. Over here, it's a pretty straightforward process. First thing is that you should get uh, inputs. Let's just get, let's say, the key, but you can get any input that you want just the one that I'm going to be using here. And then actually this is a pretty easy process, but I'm going to be sure how you can implement this with AI as well. So that is going to act according to your visibility. So first thing, I'm going to just be create a variable that's going to see if our character is already visible or not. Get into here, then get a range. If our character is already visible and he press this key, then he should get our mesh. Then I'm going to set visibility and make it to false, just like that. But if he's not visible and he press this key, he's going to turn himself visible again. So make this into true and propagate this to children. Same thing over here, like that. And now compile it, save it, and let's test this out. And yeah, I think by default, ah yeah, one thing that I forgot is that once this is concluded, I should set this over here as well. So set the visibility again, and here as well. So in the case it is false, then set it to false, and in the case of true, set it to true. And by default, make it true like that, compile, save it. Now, as you can see, I can just press the key to make myself invisible and visible again. But I uh, let's say if you have some kind of AI and you want this to be implemented as well, I have created a simple one just for this demonstration. So I'm going to just be in going into our content folder and I'm going to just be getting this NPC. So, uh, this is a pretty straightforward NPC that basically has a simple behavior that's going to be, he's going to check if he can see our player and then he's going to move to our player. Very simple. So as you can see over here, he's not moving, he's not going to do anything, but if he sees our player, he's going to move around. If I make myself invisible, he's still going to be moving around because I only set the visibility of our mess to invisible. I have not changed any logic in our game. So the other character is not going to act according to that. And the same thing goes if I make myself invisible and goes past through him. So I'm going to be showing how you can change that. First thing, uh, let's go our AI controller. Just to show there is just basic logic, just to check for that. Nothing else was created. And for that, I am going to be creating here in our behavior tree. I'm going to blackboard. Uh, as you can see, I have three keys. There's going to be the self actor, that's base one. The other one is to see if you can see our player. Uh, this is used over here in the stimulus. It's pretty basic logic. And then the other one is for our character, to check for our character and the set over here at the start. Uh, I'm going to be create another key for the visibility of our character. So let's get a bull key. This one's going to be visible question mark, like that. Then in our behavior tree, I have this action to move to. I'm going to right click and I'm going to be add a decorator. That's going to be a blackboard. And this blackboard is going to be our, our visible and it needs to be set, just like that. Compile it, save it. Now let's go into our AI controller. I need to set that as well. So the way that I think it would be best for this is to actually create an interface to communicate between your character and your uh, your multiples NPCs and characters in your world. So I'm going to be doing that very quickly over here. So in our content folder, right click, let's go into blueprint and then select a blueprint interface. So this is going to be our interface underscore, let's say visibility. 
be like that. Open this up. And here, our function is going to be, let's say, change visibility. It's going to have a, one input that's going to say, check if it is visible or not. Compile it, save it. Yeah, that should be good. Now we can close this interface visibility. Then go to our BP third person class, class defaults. Uh, I think this class settings yeah, over here into our implemented interfaces. I am going to select our interface underscore uh, visibility. This one over here. The same thing in our AI controller. Go to class settings. Then over here, our interface underscore visibility. Like that. And basically, the event is going to be called over here. Once this event is called, what I want to be doing is that I want to get a variable for our blackboard. Like that. And just as you can see, the blackboard is being set over here. So I'm going to just be getting this variable for a blackboard. And then I'm going to set value as pool. Like that. I'm going to get from this name, I'm going to get make litter name like that and then place over here the value is going to be this input over here and for the value it needs to be the exact same from our blackboard so i'm going to just be rename this and copying this name and then placing it over here and just make sure that uh, the perception is going to be updating this as well now i'm going to just be making one modification i'm going to be actually be adding a variable over here so that I can get the current visibility of our character. Uh, so just get visible like that. And I'm going to be setting it over here as well. So just set this variable, actually make it like that into here and here. And just to prevent any kind of books and to get a value at the start as well. I'm going to be making this thing. I'm going to just be copying this and pasting it here as well and i'm going to get our blackboard target exactly there is no need there is a blackboard variable there as well and i'm going to get from our bool value place it into here just like this compile it save it now it should check for that but i need to change this variable in our interface so just get a call over here for that i'm going to just get our i think it's just change visibility yeah, but it's going to be none of those events is going to be a message. So just disable content visibility, content sensitivity, and then select change visibility message like that. Get this value into here and then into here as well. So for the target, I could do this in different ways. I think I think for the best way for this, yeah, just to not lose that much time with this. I'm going to get uh, actually enable content sensitive again and then get all actors of class. I'm going to be selecting the type of my NPC. That's going to be the controller of our NPC. Place it to into here and then get uh, for each loop. So that's going to change the value in each character that we have there. This array element is going to be our target and then this into here. Let's do the same thing over here. Actually, to make things easier, delete this. Crop this out. Get a bit of space there. Crop this out. Place into here. Yeah, that should be good. Now let's get the root node down here and then into here. Compile, save it. So now it should check if it's able to see our player and it should be changed that variable into here. And if he's not able to see our player, he's not going to be chasing our player as well. So let's test this in our game. So as you can see, he is, yeah, it's not changed that value for some reason. Let's see, I think I know the problem. Uh, I just did not set this by default to true. So there, into here at the start, uh, is going to be set it to false. So that would be a problem. Compile, save it. Now it should work. Let's see. Is running to, uh, towards our character. If I make myself invisible, it should stop running towards our character because he can't see our player. And if I make myself visible again, 
he's going to start chasing me again. And if I go towards our it is NPC invisible, he's not going to start chasing our player because he can't see our player. So this is the interaction between our visibility and our behavior, our AI behavior in Unreal Engine. So uh, that's basically what I wanted to show you. Uh, thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Visit train.memetinteract.com and enroll into your to get all source files. Use coupon code MEMETY to enroll for free.